Here's an alternate way to do question 5. Given the data in the table, we have to determine which of these percents is closest to the percentage of students who walk to school and are in grade 6. Let's try this problem visually. Let's draw a container that represents all the students walking to school. So we know the total number of students is 65. So we could say all the way from 0 to 65 for the total number of students walking to school. And that would represent anywhere from 0% to 100% of the students. So the left side is our students, and the right side is the percents. Okay, now if we look at our percents, the easiest one to start with would be 50%, because that would be half the amount. So 50% would be about here. And therefore, for students, it would also be about here. So what is this value here? Well, 65 is the total, so half that would be to divide 65 by 2, which would give us about 32 and a half. The next percent might be to look at 25%, because that represents one quarter of the total. In other words, take 50% and divide it by half, so it's half again. So that would be about here. That's 25%. So what we want to do is take this 32 and a half and then break it up into half again. So half of 32 and a half, it would be about here. And that would be 16.25. Next, we could look at 75%. Well, 75% would be 1, 2, 3 quarters of the way up. So we could, it would be right there. So 75% is 50% plus the 25%. So we would have 32.5 and then add 16.25, which would give us, and that's where it would be on our line here, would be 48.75. So what about 10%? Well, that means to break this number line for percentage into 10 equal parts. So for example, you could go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So 10 percent would be right here. So 10 percent means 10 out of 100 or to divide the total amount by 10. And if we did that, we'd see this would be 6.5. So that would be 10% right there. So to recap, 10% would be 6.5 students, 25% would be 16.25, 50% would be 32.5, and 75% would be 48.75 students. Now our job is to figure out how many grade 6 students there are, where they fit on this line, so we can determine or estimate the percentage. Well, we, when we look at the data, we can see that we don't have the value for grade 6 students who walk to school. But we can figure it out. We know that 18 for the grades 4 students plus 10 for grade 5 plus the number in grade 6 would equal the total. So we can go here and go 18 plus 10 plus the number of grade 6 students would equal 65. Now we want the, this equation to balance, so let's start, we can add 18 and 10 to get 28 plus the question mark, the grade 6 students equals 65. We want to get rid of the 28 so we get the question mark all by itself, so we can subtract 28 from this left side, and whatever we do to one side we got to do to the other, so we can subtract 28 from the right side. Now the 28s would cancel, and what we'd be left with here is a question mark equal to 37. So the number of students walking to school in grade 6 is 37. Okay, so what we have to do is figure out where does 37 fit on this line here. 
Okay, I'm going to write 37 in green here, just for something different. So when we look at this line, 37 would be bigger than 32 and a half, but a lot less than 48.75. Uh, so it's probably be somewhere ooh, about here. So let's draw that in. 37 is probably somewhere around there. So which of these percentages, then, is this number 37 closest to? Well, when we go across, we can see it's closest to 50%. So when we look at our options, the right answer would be this one, 50%. In other words, of the students who walk to school, approximately 50% of them are in grade 6.